evening. My name is Cindy Dyer, and I was a specialized domestic and sexual violence prosecutor here in the U.S. for 15 very long years. And after that, I was the director of the Office on Violence Against Women at the Department of Justice, and I've been a human rights attorney at an international women's organization now for nine years. I'm getting a little old in the tooth. I'm glad you're far away, and I have bright lights. I know firsthand how important it is to hold abusers accountable for their crimes and protect victims. And I know more than anybody how important it is to have good laws on the books in a country's. But folks, I'm here to tell you that good laws alone do not protect victims. What we need is good people to implement those laws. And this is exactly why I admire the amazing folks at Global Rights for Women. Because yes, they absolutely work to get good laws passed. But once those laws are passed, they don't just sit back and admire them. Because then, that's when the real work begins. They work to get those laws implemented. And I know this firsthand because I have had the privilege of traveling and training with the amazing folks at Global Rights for Women. So I have seen firsthand the improvements that they make. Global Rights for Women works tirelessly to get better laws passed. They're working to make sure that domestic violence is criminalized, that is actually against the law to rape your wife, that it's possible to get a protective order if you have been the victim of violence. But they do so much more than that because they train the authorities then on how to use those new tools. They work with the service providers to make sure that officials are held accountable. They create the connections and coalitions to make sure that these are coordinated. And they help police and prosecutors actually hold defendants accountable. But it's important here because they do, yes, they help police and prosecutors make sure that they know how to prosecute murder cases. But way more important than that, they work to make sure that police and prosecutors know how to prevent murder cases. And that, folks, is done not by waiting until a crime is on the front page of the news or the front page of CNN. It's by aggressively addressing low-level domestic violence, by aggressively obtaining protective orders for victims of crime. And Global Rights for Women is not afraid to work in countries that don't yet have good laws. Yes, let's absolutely make those laws better. But folks, in the meantime, let's do the best with what you have. You don't have a specialized domestic violence law? Global Rights for Women will help you use your assault and battery to hold defendants accountable. You don't have protective orders? they will help you get from the judge a condition placed on a bond. If your victim is too afraid to come down to court and testify, they will help them prove up their cases without the testimony of the victim. And if the judge says, well, I'm not gonna find a defendant guilty unless you have a victim to come down and tell me what happened, then Global Rights for Women will stand with those local champions and say to the judge, Really? Do you, require, do you require a victim to come down in murder cases? Because I will guarantee you that that judge is holding murder cases and finding defendants guilty and has not once had a victim come down to testify. It absolutely can be done. It takes, it's not easy. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The folks at Global Rights for Women have really they have a lot of courage. They have big ovaries. Because this is not easy work, folks. It takes some big ovaries. Um, but they stick with it. Because change does not happen overnight. You cannot parachute in to a country, do a one-week training, and then trot home without looking back. 
The folks at Global Rights for Women are putting in the time and the talent and the tears to continually support the local leaders, the local champions who are the ones who have to implement these laws. They celebrate with them when they win and they support and encourage them when they experience setbacks. Because Global Rights for Women has really deep roots in the countries that they are working. When we traveled with Cheryl and Helen and Melissa to Romania this past summer to conduct a training for 160 leaders from 20 different countries, walking in with Cheryl and Helen was like going into a family reunion. The only thing that was missing was like potato salad and a jello mold. It was the whole thing. They were so excited to see these women that they have been working with for years. And it was wonderful to hear the stories of how much better things were in those countries because of the work of Global Rights for Women. Because folks, that is how you create sustainable change. It is through gentle, relentless pressure and support. It is an honor for me to be here tonight in support of the folks at Global Rights for Women, and I really want to thank each and every one of you for being in here, being with me to support this amazing organization. Thank you so much.